<laughs> I guess, what's, uh, I mean, what's the emotion like for you right now, right? Obviously, this was supposed to be your night, you know, and uh, out of your control. So what's, what's the feel for you right now? You guys heard Dana. You said sit down, enjoy the show, and we'll talk shop on Monday. So there's not really much else to it. I can't uh, do anything about it. It's out of my hands, and uh, just trying to enjoy the night. Yeah. It was kind of funny for you to get up there at the press conference and press that. Was that like a spur of the moment thing, or were you planning that ahead? Yeah, you know, my training partner, Michael Chiesa, he's fighting on the main event, and uh, I wanted to come down here and still support him as my teammate. And uh, the microphone was just like one row behind me. I'm like, come on, this is too easy. And I asked uh, my, uh, the Lene, the PR person, I'm like, hey, can I ask a question? She's like, go for it. And I was like, all right, I'm just going to do it. <laughs> What did you think of the response? Were you, were you frustrated at all? Were you hoping to get something a little more concrete, or did you just have a little fun with it? Yeah, I mean, I was just, you know, flying flying off the hip. I wasn't sure what was going to happen or what he was going to say. Um, you know, when you get in those types of situations, it's almost like a fight. My heart's beating out in my chest, and I was like, no, nah, that's not how I wanted it to go. Um, but it, it ended up working out, you know, as long as I can just get an answer from him. And so that's all I wanted. Have you heard any kind of initial indication as to, to when it, it might be rescheduled? I mean, I know that was the answer you were looking for, but have you gotten any kind of initial feedback? Um, you know, I know that there's uh, some shows coming down the line in Abu Dhabi that was going to be a fight night, and they didn't want to do that because they wanted a pay-per-view. Um, and I know that uh, initially, when I first got the call, they were saying uh, that she would be ready in December. Um, so, you know, I just got done talking to Dana. He says that uh, they're going to talk shop on Monday and get something uh, nailed down and, and concrete. And, uh, you you know, at the end of the day, the most important thing is I already know that I have the fight, and uh, unfortunately, it didn't work out tonight, um, but I'm confident that later on down the road, it's definitely going to happen. If it is December, is that, I mean, I imagine the idea would have been tonight, you know what I mean? But is December too far down the road, or is that just, just the reality of it? It's not ideal for me right now because I'm in, I'm in shape. I'm ready to go. I've been training since March 1st, you know. Um, I literally have been in three camps back-to-back. -back. I went from Jermaine fought a month later against Sarah McMahon. After Sarah McMahon, I, I didn't take any time off. I was going to fight Holly Holm. Holly Holm fell out of the fight, and uh, they told me then I would be fighting Amanda. And so I've been in camp, three camps back-to-back, -back, and I haven't fought since January so it's, it's a little bit frustrating I feel like uh, you bleed me dry like what is this your game plan you know what I mean like what do you what is you know the motive here um, especially because I heard from a teammate of hers that she hasn't even been training and even when she was healthy and is healthy she has barely been in the gym um, and so that part is frustrating for me because I have been making this fight my top priority. I have been living in the gym. My house is a launching pad. I literally just go there, change clothes, take a shower, and go to the next one. My kid has been, you know, taking all the sacrifices just like I have. She lives in her car seat. Um, and I've been doing, you know, the, the mom thing as well. But, you know, I do want to take this time to say that I understand her position. She's a new mother, um, and she wants to enjoy that time with her baby, and she lacks a little bit of motivation to get up for a fight when she wants to hang out with her little newborn. I get that. I was in that same position, you know what I mean? But if you're not going to fight in December, it'll be two years since she's defended the belt at 135 pounds. we got to keep the train moving. Like, let's get a girl in there that's ready to rock, and we'll fight for the interim belt. And uh, when she's ready to come back, she can come pry it out of my cold, dead fingers. Well, I guess a lot of it will depend on, you know, exactly what day plays out. But what is your plan now? You just mentioned all the sacrifice you made. I mean, do you feel like you need some time off and let's get out of the gym for a little while? Or do you feel like, you know, let's go right back in there and stay ready? It's, it's just great for me. I'm just going to continue to get better and continue to hone in on my skill set and just do everything that I need to do to make sure that when December rolls around or whenever she's good and ready, I will be ready. Um, just to reiterate, you're completely okay with fighting for the interim belt. Right, you don't you don't have to fight Amanda Nunes as long as this, your next fight is for the championship. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, that's the goal. I am wanting, and have been wanting, and have been saying for a long time now, I want to be the UFC's new bantamweight fighter champion. Excuse me, I want to be the new UFC bantamweight champion, and. That's the goal that I've had my entire career. When I got on The Ultimate Fighter, I was calling to fight for the belt then. Um, then I got injured. I tore four out of five ligaments. And then I came back, and I won. And then I had a baby, and I came back, and I won. And you know, I've been in this division just as long as Amanda has. And I have been fighting my butt off. And you know, it's my chance to prove to myself that, that I can be the champion and that I'm going to be the champion in the future. It's just a matter of time for me. And with all these fight cancellations, um, not to get too much in your, like, it's your personal business, but this, had, this has to hurt financially. I mean, this is a lot of time and commitment camps and with no paycheck at the end. Like, how are you just handling this in just day-to-day -day life? It seems very 
I mean, frustrating. Absolutely. Um, you know, I have been flying girls in. I've been paying for their food. I've been renting cars. I've been paying for um, hotel setups. There's been a lot of expenses occurred on my end. I have coaches, you know. I have a daughter that I need to feed, you know. So this is just... Um, it feels like the rug has been pulled out from underneath me. But again, I just want to reiterate, I'm confident in the UFC and I'm confident in them being able to get a deal done. And I know that, you know, it wasn't tonight, but it is going to be in the future. And when that day comes, I will be ready. Thank you. Thank you.